Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, I prayed last night to God asking him for a dream, and uh, I, I had quite a few actually, but I had a rapture dream last night. And uh, I'm gonna share what I do recall. You know, some, sometimes the Lord, if he wants us to recall certain things, sometimes he'll give us what he wants us to recall, and other times he'll take the other parts away. But um, from what I remember, I was getting caught up. When I was getting caught up, I was, I was like crying out because my brother got left behind and I knew he got left behind and it was hurting me. It was hurting my like spirit as I was getting caught up. I was like crying out for him. And um, which, you know, was very interesting because you know how scripture says in uh, Corinthians chapter 15, first Corinthians, that um, it's gonna be in, that we will all be changed in a moment the twinkling of an eye which if i recall doing a study on that it's like ten thousandths of a second which is very rapid you know so i believe that god god slowed down the um the dream or the rapture for me in the dream so i would be able to see and uh my brother's name is terrence what i want to ask and i think this is a purpose that god gave me in the dream is to put this video out and he, this is a purpose he gave for me to recall that part is to uh, ask you guys to please pray for Terrence. Um, what could I share about him? You know, I'm very bold, I guess you could say, to be saying this because I know I shouldn't be saying this stuff without his consent. But you know, it's, it's for the glory of Jesus Christ and his soul is more important to me than um, his business being confidential, if that makes sense. Well, it will make sense. Him and his girlfriend have been going through a breakup, and he's been heartbroken about that. So you can pray for healing and forgiveness because she was messaging some other dude, and um, he sees that as cheating. And they just had a baby this recent last year. And um, so if you can pray for his heart to be healed, for forgiveness because he said he's trying to forgive her, and they they go to mind you they go to church i see him at church every sunday and you know i went to a concert with them winter jam here in uh Albu or rio rancho and uh they you know they were praising jesus you know like and i mean they weren't that that's what matters though they were there that they, they were there and my brother i saw him i he was lifting up his hands i think i heard my um or his baby mama marissa scream out when uh, they were talking about jesus and then I, it was exciting for me it's so exciting because believe me there's nothing more that i want to see than um souls who are either um you know how do you say not completely right with jesus you know pertaining to how jesus said um many will say to me lord lord but only they who do the will of my father who is in heaven will enter the kingdom of heaven and um my my heart is really out to the people that are lost and for the people that are fooling themselves depriving themselves of the true knowledge of jesus christ you know like in timothy house mentions um the lord Nevertheless, God's um, solid, solid foundation stands firm, sealed with this inscription. God knows those who are his, and everyone who professes the name of the Lord must depart from wickedness. And, you know, um, a lot of a lot of Christians, brothers and sisters, are fooling themselves. And, you know, that's, that's something that hurts me. And I know it hurts Jesus Christ because, you know, what's worse than people thinking they're going to heaven and then they hear that from Jesus? I never knew you depart from me you worker of lawlessness that's those are the, that that's a really tough verse to take in i remember coming into the word of god hearing those verses and it, it hurts because you know i i worry for people who profess the name of jesus christ like are you sure you're going no no, no. you know jesus christ but does he know you jesus said he will say to a lot of people i do not know you does jesus christ know you and you know that's the important emphasis and it's all about grace you know our salvation is a free gift from jesus christ and jesus christ alone and you know but we can't do anything to earn it but we can do things to condemn ourselves and you know that's 
that's why we need to keep a repentive spirit and you know um my brother does smoke cigarettes i don't know if he still drinks last time i talked to him he was drinking so if you can pray for that for the lord to break those spirits smoking cigarettes um smoking or um and drinking alcohol to for him to be delivered from that and um please pray for terrence please pray for my brother um and please pray for me. I really need prayer. And please pray for his baby mama. Her name is Marissa. I'm not that, um, how do you say, close to her, where I talk to her about everything that's going on in her life and, you know, vice versa. You know, we talk to each other, but like, it's, it's kind of like a high thing. And we'll talk a little bit, but it's not like a deep conversation. So I, I don't know if she'll share what's going on in her life, but please pray for her you know that the lord sends her ministering spirits as well um hebrews chapter 114 where it talks about it are not um all i think it says all angels are all all angels ministering spirits sent forth unto them that will inherit salvation so you know please pray that the lord sends ministering spirits to my brother ministering spirits to marissa and um plead the blood of jesus over him and uh over me as well you know and um please and you know if you need me to pray for anybody in your family i'll pray for them i want to pray for them and uh i want to intercede on behalf of everybody you know like if i would show you my paper list i have over a thousand name over a thousand names written down and i don't say that to boast about it no i that's for the glory of god because we need to be interceding i say this for the glory of god so that we can be interceding for the souls of those who are lost and those who are saved because we need to be praying for as much people as possible as much because you know we're the body of christ we need to work together one one part can't function without the other and we all need each other's prayers because prayer if you haven't seen War Room, go see it. Prayer is very vital in the Christian life. And you know, that's one thing that Jesus did. He was a prayer warrior the night before he chose the disciples. He prayed all night. And you know, that's that's amazing. That's astonishing. That's supernatural. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> glory to God and Jesus, God in the flesh. But um, you know, um, God bless you. To God be the glory. May the Lord bless you and keep you and sustain you. And uh, the Lord is faithful. He will protect you. He will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. See you soon, brothers and sisters. If not on YouTube, up there in heaven. God bless you.